to thank our sponsor for today, Sioux Concussion Clinic. Sioux Concussion Clinic is the Sioux's longest running and most trusted concussion specialty facility. We offer diagnosis and rehabilitation of acute and chronic concussions, no matter the mechanism of injury. Treatment and management is individually tailored on a case-by-case basis. In addition to post-injury care, we also offer preventative education and pre-season slash in-season baseline testing. Call Dr. Albert and Merlino at Sioux Concussion Clinic located at 644 Queen East, 
Good afternoon and welcome to the semi-final action between the Markham Watchers and the Vaughn Kings. I am going to send it over to John right now as he has some updates from the OHL draft. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, right before our pregame analysis, two Sioux Greyhounds have been drafted. 74th overall going to the Sudbury Wolves. Cole Reggett, the six-foot defenseman out of Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, had a great year. And going in the eighth round, 159th overall to the Niagara Ice Dogs, Brady Real, the six-foot-one Sault Ste. Marie native, will be joining the Ice Dogs. And those are the two drafted players so far. And we will send to the PA announcer for O Canada. We will be right back. Yes. All right, welcome back after that national anthem, and we've got a doozy today. It's going to be a fight here between the Vaughn Kings and the Markham Waxers as two teams line up at the red line there for puck drop. The referees give each other the fist pumps. There's the whistle, and Gibson's going to get ready to drop the puck. It's Pickett and Ferry. And Piggott wins the draw. It comes back. There's Kim. He gets it to Ferry. Ferry and Kim. They're going to chase that in. And that's number 18 for Markson. Oldenhoff. He's got the puck. He gave it over to. Oh, and it stops. Zenkai gets stick checked by Lee. And he had the puck. Now Ferry chases it in the corner. It's put back. And they're just desperately trying to get it out. But Vaughn Kings, they're very much going to keep that puck in that end. And uh, here comes Markham. That's uh, number 37. He rips around. He's got Johnston with him and Piggott. And it gets dumped. Lee has it. He dumps it all the way down. It's tipped off of Markham players. Senkai, so there will be no icing. Senkai will stop. And they'll start the turn. Here we go. Headed up. He's got Collins. And he's got Oldenhoff with him. Oldenhoff sends it up to Govindaris. Govindaris tries to keep it in. He does so. Johnson and Collins are with him. Johnson in the middle. But it's sent all the way down. And there's the Vaughn Kings chase it. That was Kirk. Kirk couldn't do much with that. So here we go back the other way. It comes through center ice as Collins dumps it deep. But Govindaris chases it. And it's rimmed around the boards to Kirk, but he's unable to control the puck. So the defenseman gets it, takes a shot, but it bounces out and Abuma re-picks it up. He dumps it all the way down, no icing again as Burt touched the puck. He reverses it. Johnson, now he carries it, gives it back to Burt, and Burt will push it over to Mankiss. Mankiss up to Johnson. Johnson loses that, and 
the Vaughn Kings dump it high, and now we got Capel after it. Capel, he's chasing it. He's got Scorsese with him as well. Adams now has a puck. Nice to see him back. He Absolutely. missed two games. And there's a shot from Cruzen. He didn't he didn't really get a good anything good on that. So it gets put back to butt. But back to Adams. Adams back in the net. And Holt now pushes it. And number 16 tries to get it out, but it goes to the line. It's kept in. He has another chance, but they still keep it. Cruzen shot. Adams is lurking around. Capel. He puts it to no, number 88, Scorsese, and he goes with Turbot, but they turn and Waxers are back the other way. Here comes Cruz, and he just tries to dump that in, he's unable to do so, and Lanader, Lanader picks a puck up, carries it across to the ice. Kovacevic, shot on net, rebound. Oh, just misses. And I did see Kovacevic's father, he's got proud dad, because he's wearing a jersey too. So here we go, Lanader picks, got the puck up back, on the back end. It goes over to number 23 for the Vaughn Kings. Braun. Braun dumps that down, but they're chasing it now. And Oldenhoff's on it. He goes high off the glass, and it comes out to Piggott. Piggott goes in around. He's got Helfenstein with him, as well as uh, Miko Giannikas. And it's back to the point. There's Helfenstein on it again. He's got Piggott out there, but he's going to step in and help. Pickett's on the hash marks, tries to dump it behind the net. No one's there. It comes back to Senkai. Senkai pushes it towards the deep end there, and then it comes back to, go to uh, Miko Giannikas. He pushes it over to Senkai. Senkai shoots, save. There's a rebound. Oh, the Von Kings goalie tries to jump out and re stop that. Comes back to Oldenhoff. Oldenhoff, shot, save. And a nice save by Nico Armella. What starting... do you think of that start, John? Yeah, it was a fast and furious start. Almost four minutes and no whistle. That was unbelievable. Three shots for Markham, one shot for Vaughn. And this is what I think is going to happen. It's going to be a fast-paced game up and down the ice all afternoon. And your starting goaltenders, number 29, Eamon Callahan for the Markham Waxers. The number one goaltender, or sorry, the number three goaltender in the OMHA with a 1.95 save percentage. And for the Javon Kings, Nico R. Mellon starting this afternoon. R. Mellon, yeah, for sure. Grovendera stumps that out. Johnson kicks it back in, but the Vaughn Kings are able to get that puck, and they break out. Here they come across the red line, but unable to keep control. So it comes back. The goalie comes out. Armelin plays it. Armelin dumps that up. He's got a twin brother that plays in the same league. I think it was the Toronto Nats he plays for. So... There we go, comes back. It must be weird facing off against your brother, yeah. right? your twin brother. So here it comes, and the Vaughn Kings, uh, 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 pardon me, were unable to get that puck, but it comes back out to center ice. Piggott, re or Mankiss, retreats. He pushes it back to his D, then he goes off the wall and comes out from the blue line, so they'll have a delayed call there, and a couple guys will take it to get a shift change. Govinderis gets that puck. He chips it. He gets it over to Butt. Butt breaks in. He's on the hash marks. It comes all the way out. I think if Butt would have busted his butt, he <laughs> would have kept that puck in on, on the blue line. Yeah, but absolutely. here we go. There's the speedy Adams. Adams comes in. Boy, was he missed the last two games yeah. for the Waxers. Not only missed by them, but missed by us. It's just fun to watch him play. You know, I, I talked to him, and he's just a great kid. Yeah, man. he is. Very yeah. soft-spoken, yeah. very, uh, yeah. very nice to Very polite. To. They yeah. all are. Yeah, absolutely. So here we go. Back to the action. And it goes back to the Markham defenseman. Then he butt just chips that in deep, but he wasn't over the red line, yeah. or he missed it. And we're going to get a nice and call to the left of the Waxers goalie. And yeah, well, having Nathan Adams back is huge for the Waxers. You're going to want to watch him on the left wing. They just chipped the puck to him, and he just outspeeds everyone and cuts into the net. It's a very uh, nice play to watch. And we're going to watch it here face off in front of the goaltender, Callahan. Puck dropped there. And it comes all the way around. There's 16, cruise it. Cruise it, tries to send it to Butt, unable to do so. But number 26, he's able to uh, push that puck in. And, oh, pardon me, 16. And uh, that's cruise it. And he's able to push the puck in. And it comes all the way back. Koza. Koza moves that puck over to his defensive partner. And he just rims it back to Koza. And Koza has it again. 
tries to hit Wharton, who's hitting up at the red line. And he, uh, the Kings just dump it in and goes off the pad of Callahan. Now there's a tip. Kings are working hard to keep it in. Capel's on it. Capel tries. Number 17's there, Ferry. Ferry chips it up to Lanater. Lanater on the back end. He breaks in down near the hash marks. And he's looking to get to his shooting lane and get a shot, and he cannot do so. And now the Waxers are able to pick up that loose puck and dump it all the way down, but it hits the Vaughn Kings goalie. And the Vaughn Kings goalie dumps it straight up. Turbot gets it. Turbot sends it deep. And the goalie, Callahan, steps out and stops that behind the net. And the Markham Waxers head back the other way. And he tries, was going to hit 71 Collins, but he came out, went off. Piggott now has it. Piggott dumps it in deep. There's Helfenstein has it. There's number two, Senkai takes a shot. And it's down. It's open. It's oh, oh my but goodness. But there's uh, the goalie for, uh, I think that's Belitsky. No, that no, was sorry. Armelin. Uh, oh, Armelin, yeah. yeah. Armelin grabbed it, got his chicken wing and pulled that yeah. puck in and was able to keep pressed up against his body. So that's nice that he was able to keep it a 0-0 game. And he is a starting goaltender for this Vaughn team. Oh, he's, he's great. Yeah, he's a phenomenal goaltender, able to yeah. always have a feel of where the puck oh, is. Oh, yeah, his dad's See, great, too. Yeah, his dad's a very nice guy. Actually, I believe it was his uncle, John yeah. Armelin, who played for the Sioux Greyhounds. Right, right. So there's a little Sioux St. Marie exactly. connection there. So here we go. Puck drop. Pig it. He loses it. And it comes back into the King's end. Smith, he's on that puck. He sends it up to Kovacevic. Kovacevic breaks in, dumps it in deep. And the Kings are now after it. And they've got it up pinned on the boards. And Markham, they're trying to get it out. And they're yep. trying not desperately. And it gets stopped again. So there we go. That's Smith. He's able to keep it in. He kind of gets decked from behind. But, you know, it's uh, those are the hard calls to make because he turned at the last minute. It's oh, sent all pass. the way up to Helfenstein. Helfenstein, what a pass that was. Wow. And it just, they fumble the puck and go offside, unfortunately, as they bounce into each other. And, uh, you know, so we're going to have a puck drop, and that's going to be just outside the Vaughn Kings uh, bench there. So here we go. Linesman, pucks down. And the Kings win it again. Holt, Holt's on it. He puts it across. Tries to hit the winger, can't do so. Close it now. Or, pardon me. Uh, Kuzezi's after it. Kuzezi, he goes to put pressure on it, but Burt put it back, and Govindaris now. Govindaris for the Waxers. He's trying to push it deep, unable to do so, so it comes back to the red line. Burt, Burt crosses to the red line into the offensive zone for them, and the Kings goalie comes out and plays the puck, and there we go, they come the other way, Kim. He's got speed, he comes with against Burt. He puts the puck forward, back check, oh! Tried to put it in five hole, but that goalie Callahan said, no yeah. bueno today, boys. It's going to be a goaltender battle today. Arguably the two best goaltenders in the tournament facing off. And uh, just what a great save by Callahan. Like we yeah. said, he was the OMHA ninth ranked goaltender. And he was the third in the Eastern Division with that 1.95 GAA. So here we go. Comes back to the point. Back to Lanater. Quick oh, shot. There it is. There's a save. Nice. The one thing you will see with Callahan, he doesn't give up too many rebounds. So if there is a rebound, these Kings need to get on it. Here yeah. comes Ferry. Ferry takes the draw and pushes it forward. He still has it. Callahan, oh. he jumps up and uh, he might think about joining the basketball team. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of these kids, uh, we're, we've been told down south, anyways, they play many, many multiple sports. Oh, guaranteed. Which is, is much different from when I played. It was more, you pick one and, and do that very well, but I think it's better to do multiple sports and it makes you a better athlete all around. Yeah, absolutely. And so, uh, you're seeing a lot less, you know, you're moving a lot more your uh, muscles and you're, move, you're doing sure. different movements. You're seeing yeah. a lot less injuries with kids who are are multi-sport oh, athletes, sure. I think. So we get a stoppage of play here because it did go up and hit the glove of someone on the Kings bench. We've seen that a lot in this tournament, mm -hmm. but it's just an unfortunate bounce normally. Yep. And here we go. They win that draw. The Waxers, Manikis puts it back to his partner, and Burt took the shot, but he uh, wasn't able to put it in. And then we get another stoppage there as it hit the 
mesh once again, and the Kings will take that as a chance to change their forwards anyways. So they do that, and Govindares, Collins, and Johnson's out there. Collins drop, gets the puck. It goes back. Burt tries to keep it in. He's tied up, but yeah, the Kings are able to break out. They're at the red line, or blue line now, but they dump it in, and someone was offside. Yeah, and uh, we just like to thank everyone really quickly watching on Sioux Sports TV's YouTube as well as listening on True House Radio. We were at 98 viewers not even five minutes ago. Now we're at 115. I think pretty much every game this tournament got to triple digits at one point oh, or another. Sure. So that's awesome to see how great we've been doing and how much everyone's been enjoying our coverage. Here we go, Adams. The speedy little guy comes down, and Brigliano has it now. Brigliano, he pushes the puck up deep, goes all the way down, hits the goalie. No icing there. And Callahan, he tries to put it up on the boards. He does so, but uh, Kings player is able to get to it first. Mitchell dumps it in, and it's behind the net. Out front now. Nope. The, the defensemen take care of that. Koza, and they're very good at cleaning up their dishes in front of the net, that's for sure. And it's put down all the way down for a nice and call, so it's going to come all the way out to a side or... Yeah, it's going to... Well, it's going to be... Yeah, to sorry, the left, I no? thought the other linesman was pointing at the blue line there, but he wasn't. So it, it is where we thought it would be, and it is to the left of Callahan. Callahan. And it take the draw. There's... Uh, Cal or that, that was the other Callahan. He gets it and uh, he plays for the Kings, but he's a uh, defenseman and uh, he uh, almost had a chance there, but unable to do so. Callahan again dumps it in deep and number 29 has it, sends it up to Miko Giannikas. He puts it across and there's number 14, but but he's offside so he has to take back and he instead goes off and who comes on I think that would be Piggott or sorry Collins Collins out there now and he, the uh, Oldenhoff pushes it back to him and they're gonna try and get that out and there's gonna be icing and there's a nice little slash there but the icing was called off and now it's back to Callahan Callahan Puts this to Scorsese. He puts it up. Or the, uh, his other defenseman tries to just flick it in the middle so they're able to get to it, but they can't do much with that. And it comes all the way back, and that may be, no, it's called wow. off as well. Really? Lanader, Lanader reverses back to Callahan. Callahan, he comes in. He's looking for someone right across over to Scorsese. He dumps it in deep. Kim's on it now. Kim goes into the corner. He's all by himself. Oh, there he, he puts is. it out to Lee. He takes a shot. Blocker saved by Callahan. Back out. Here comes another one. Lee. No, goes in the corner. Ferry gets it. Ferry now. Ferry tries to put it in deep. He's unable to get to Kim. Now it comes back out to the point. Ferry's trying to keep it in there. Unable to do so as Waxer's call and dumps it all the way down, and we get a icing call. And a great work by the Vaughn Kings getting two awesome opportunities. That was Kim to Lee. It was a nice little one timer. Usually, those two are able to put it in the back of the net, and this is a really great offensive line. Kim Lee and Ferry, we've been talking about it all week with the Vaughn Kings, and For sure. here we go. Ferry drop, and it gets back to Burt. Burt puts it over to Miko Giannikas, and he puts it back, and it'll go across over to Burt. Burt. Back to his D partner. It goes over to Rubico Giannikas on the boards. Up, Johnston. Johnston and call or and uh, Piggott out there. I mean, Helfenstein, pardon me. And here we go the other way. That is Brigliano. He's coming in now. He gets into the corner. He's pushed up against the boards, but the Kings are still working hard in there. They get down. There's Ferry working on the puck still. Unable to do so. Goes past Helfenstein. Goes past him. He's got a guy with him. Saucer pass. Oh, just misses it. He hits the wow. goalie a little bit unintentionally. I don't care what anyone says. And the kid actually sits there and takes the time to apologize. So good on him. And I know the parents want to call, and just because, you know, it's one of those games, man. So here we go, Piggott, captain's able to get it to the center ice. The Vaughn King fans, they're still yelling, and uh, rightfully so. And now it comes back. There's Brigliano. He gets it out. Kim has it. That's a high stick, but Piggott touches first, so that's waved off. It comes back. Now we come back the other way. Helfenstein's there waiting for the puck. Miko Jonikas comes in. This guy got has speed. Kovacevic, I mean, he gets that puck. Tries to push it across to Piggott, unable to do so. Comes back, and there's Callahan stepping out, and he sets up. 
or pardon me, not Callahan, Armelin. And here we go. It's behind the net. There's Holt. Holt starts his way out. And it tries, they try to tip it to come in all deeper, but it doesn't get too far. Koza, Koza moves it out. And it's up to Govindaris now. He moves across, across the blue line. Collins is with him. And there's Johnson on the other side. Amazing game he had last night, that's for sure. And here we go. That's number 19. That's Abu Mari. He comes across and he stops. He's going to look to pass it over, but he got his... Uh, Held up, but here comes Johnson. He's by himself, gets hooked. There's a, there's a rebound. Govindaris. And there's a hook, and that's what we will get. Two minute hooking. There you go. Yes, sir. I wasn't, I was waiting for the old X up over the heads, but didn't happen. And I thought maybe we'd get it, which is the Yeah, most it'll exciting. be a hook against so, number 15 Holt there. Yeah. And here we go, Collins will take the draw. Govindaris is out there. Johnson, Sankai on the back end with Oldenhoff. And the ball, oh pardon me, the waxers, Collins called out. Govindaris moves in. He wins the draw, it comes back to Senkai. He pushes it over to Collins, Collins has it. Back to Olden, or back Oldenhoff. Oldenhoff over to Govindaris, back to Oldenhoff. Oldenhoff walks the line and they just turn. Ooh, Johnson just misses the top corner on that beautiful backhand. In the corner on Collins. Johnson steps in to help him. The puck comes out now. Collins has it again. Collins back to Govindaris on the hash marks. Oldenhoff over to Senkai. Senkai just backs it back and cycles it to the back. And it goes to Senkai again. He gets cherry picked. Here comes Turbot. Yeah, back the other way. All by himself. He has to decide what to do. And he takes the shot, which was in my probably the worst thing he could do, but it actually worked out for him as he had another player. Scozzese just hammers his player into the boards. He's getting a call, and the goalie comes off. They get an extra player on. Oh, they try to just give it to them, and uh, there we go. Vaughn touched the puck. Scozzese, Scozzese doesn't play it, and now it's played. There we go, boarding call. And we're getting a lot of yelling up in the stands. Yeah. But we're just going to keep out of that stuff, that's for sure, because these refs have a hard enough time out there. So they don't need it from anyone, yeah. especially us on the stream. Palacicchio, he's got control here, and he's waiting. Gives the waxers time to know if they want to change. So now the waxers are there. They're uh, now on 5 on 3 And it comes back. Cruise it. Burt. Burt over Bird again. It comes to the sidewall, Adams. Adams tries Ooh. to go back door to cruise it. Unable to do so. Burt gets the puck back. Goes over to number 27, Manicus. Manicus, or Burt tries to get it back to him again. Unable to do so. So it's at that hash mark. Back to Burt. Burt takes a shot. Oh, nice save. Love save there by Ermelin. Now Adams has it, comes out high. There it is, shot, Burt. Go, oh, wow. Armelin makes a beautiful save, sliding over there, goes over top, hits the mesh, and gets a nice stoppage of play. And Nico Armelin just standing on his head there. What a great save. 11 shots for Markham and zero goals so far. So he's having one heck of a first period. Five minutes left to go. You can just tell he's locked in. Yeah. So there we go, the Collins, you don't, you know you're gonna see that line again. Collins lines back out there, Johnson and, and uh, Govindaris on the back, Sankai and Oldenhoff. Oldenhoff down to the corner, that's Johnson. Johnson over to Collins, back to Johnson, back to Collins, out front oh. to Govindaris, shot, or Sankai. Sankai comes in, he puts it back deep to Collins. Johnson, they're really good at controlling the puck normally on the power play. Uh, but a guy came out of the box there. He's offside. Yeah, he's definitely offside. Yeah, that was a call. Uh, he like was that definitely either, offside yeah. by four or five inches, actually. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The right call there. And yeah, like you said, Paul Ciccio has control of the game. That's what we like to see. He's a veteran official, and for good reason that he's one of the best in the Sault Ste. Marie region. So here we go, stoppage here. And Mitchell takes the draw against Collins, and Collins wins that back to Oldenhoff. Oldenhoff, he retreats with Senkai. Senkai takes it, and Oldenhoff goes the other way. Now Collins has it. Collins dumps that puck in. And then Armland comes out, plays the puck, 
he tries to rim it all the way out. He's unable to get it out. And the Waxers come back in. But there's a beautiful stick check by Callahan there to send the puck back into the neutral zone. But Govindaris turns and starts coming in. And there's a nice hit on Govindaris. Now the Kings move the other way. And they get a nice in call. And they have killed off this, this, uh, these two penalties almost. Yeah. Only 17 seconds left in this one. So the Waxers have to make something happen quick here. Mikko Giannikis on it with health and steam. And it comes back, but there's Burt. Burt has it across to his partner. Back to Burt. The Kings players out of the box. Mikko Giannikis tries to just stuff that puck in. Unable to do so, Holt on it. He's got help from number 23. That's Brond. Brond as well. But Johnson has it now. Back to Burt. Burt dumps it in. There's Johnson again, Burt now. Burt's in the center, man kiss on the side. And he gets it all the way in and Burt will have to pinch. Burt pinches and gets it all the way back down. There's number 17, Piggott. Piggott out to Johnson. Johnson can't stuff it in. Johnson's been out there for yeah. a while now, boy. What a game he had and, yesterday, uh, you can too. Tell he's tired and we get a nice in call. And I don't know if he's gonna stay on or come off. Looks like they're gonna leave him. So yeah, yesterday he had an unbelievable game. I think he had four goals. Yeah, four goals, and his, his father said it wasn't enough because the game didn't matter. He wants that production today. Yeah, for sure. It comes back to Koza. Koza, over to his partner, he dumps it in. It comes out, and Piggott tried to do fancy little between his leg thing, and it just didn't work out for him, so stoppage of play. At 2.55 left in the first period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Great game, yep. back and forth. Markham having the early edge in shots. And For sure. They've definitely had more of the possession, but the Vaughn Kings are scrappy. They're staying in it, and they killed off a great penalty, and here's yeah. an opportunity. For sure. And there's Abu Marie. He's going to backhand that up, and he gets it out. Kirk fights for it. He's in the corner. He falls down there, and Abu Marie's on it. He's got it pinned on the boards. That kid fights for the puck if he can. Ferry, he tries to make a move, unable to do so. Koza, he's got some speed now, but the defenseman makes an unbelievable play on him. And Ferry now, Ferry gives it up to, and he pushes it to Kirk. And Abu Marie's there, a little bit of a hook, but no call. And there we go, there's Kirk again. Kirk crosses the line, takes the shot, goes over top the net. And Abu Marie's on it. He's looking D, trying to find someone open, and he just rims it all the way around. Kirk's game, he's oh, getting there. all over by, but like he's got to learn, yeah. you know, don't take a second penalty. So we'll see, hopefully only one goes to the box, and it is a hook for sure. Yeah, it was definitely a hook. Yeah, and I love the referee. He was so animated on that hook. <laughs> That's the best animated hooking call by a referee I've ever seen. I like, love it. It's like when the umpires do that big yeah, strike, yeah, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's it, you know. So here we go. And puck drop. And the Kings win it. Comes back to the point. Lanner, Lanner puts it back. Scorsese over to 24, unable to nice. do anything. Good work Comes by Tay Collins all there. all the way back here. And Lander will swing and pick the puck up. And they're breaking out. Kim, he's on that right wing. Here he goes. He goes in. Is he going to cut in? No, he goes around the net. He's going to look for someone open. He's unable to corral that puck. Here he goes. He has it now. Saucer pass to Lander. Lander walks in. Shooting lane. Nice Ooh, shot. Good Bigger save. rebound. No one was on it. And it comes into the corner. Scorsese back to Kim. Kim. He pushes it over, and that was Lee. Scorsese back across to Kim. Kim unable to get that, and he just puts it behind the net, and Lee misses it. But Senkai hits it, but it goes off stanchion, stays in. But there's uh, Pig, or uh, pardon me, there's Collins. He was able to get it out. Nice. And it goes all the way, and Mitchell's on it now. And Mitchell's working hard, but... There, oh, Lee keeps it in. Lee now. Lee looks. Pins it to Kim. Kim turns. Comes back to Lee. Lee walks the line. Pushes it to Kim. Kim now looking back door. Nope. He turns. Goes back to the D. Lanader. Lanader over to the side. Back to Kim. There but that's is. deflected by number 14. But he gets a change. There's Lanader. 
They tell him to skate. There's no one really there to block him. So then Kim's there now. Kim's by himself, and the Waxers are able to get it all the way down. There's a foot rally. Selfenstein and Scorsese, but Darmoon comes out and plays that perfectly. So it's sent up. Scorsese over to Lanner. Lanner up to Kirk. Kirk misses that, so we're going to have icing. 12.5 seconds left to go. Great penalty kill by the Markham Waxers as Vaughn was piling it on a little bit there, but they were only really able to get one shot on the power play. That's proof of a good penalty kill. It's working, and here we go. It'll be a face-off in front of Armelin. So they get set here. That's Pickett, and that's Ferry. Two number draw. 17s there. So we get the puck drop. Vaughn wins that. Trying to flick it up. I know you do so. And that's Helfenstein. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, Johnson. Right? No, Helfenstein. He, there we go, anyways. And that's the end of the first amazing period. Yeah, great Two period teams, of hockey. You can tell they both want this game. So we're going to go over there. Deserve a beautiful rest for sure. And uh, John, anything else to say? Shots after the first period, Markham 13, Vaughn 5. Not much to say other than the fact that it was a great period of hockey. Back and forth action. Markham, I'd say, has a slight edge just due to the shots and the puck possession, but it's obviously anyone's game. And for Rod Trudell, if you have nothing else to add, my name is John Ostrowski. We'll take our quick coffee break, and we will be back.
Good afternoon and welcome back to second period action here. We're going to get puck drop and that's going to be Paula Chicho lining up here. We've got a little bit of uh, announcements. We'll wait for the next uh, puck stop to give those there and then we'll go into them. So here we go. Ferry. Ferry gets the draw. It comes back. Kim. Kim pushes it. Lee can't get to there and it comes all the way back. Piggott gets it off the boards. Piggott throws it across, but Miko Giannikas has it now. He tries to get it. He's hooked a little bit, and it's pushed over to number 18. Miko has it again. Nice save by the long goalie. Back to Senkai. Senkai back to number 16, and it goes in deep, and it comes all the way around back to 16 again, and that's, num that's Cruz it, and Cruz it was unable to do too much. Miko Giannikas on it again. Pushes it back to Senkai. Senkai across, back to Kruzit. And the goalie puts it in the corner. Holt up to the winger. And uh, he's unable to do much with that, Kim. And it comes all the way to Lee. And they're going to try and call an icing. And there it is. Back to you, John. Yeah, a great physical fast first period. And, and just a couple announcements from the Sault Ste. Marie region as... Rod is, as Rod recently said, sorry, uh, Cameron Ingram from Echo Bay, Ontario, 5'10 goaltender from the Toronto Junior Canadians, went 244th overall to the Windsor Spitfires. And the big one, 258 overall, 13th round, one of Denny Lambert's boys, Liam Watson, the Sioux yeah. Greyhound. We're so happy about that one. 258th overall to the North Bay Battalion. Right on. So that's three local boys we're, or we're, Sault Ste. Marie. we're not we're proud of all boys not just the locals yeah that's we're proud for sure. of everyone here you all know? the young men competing yeah. and uh working hard this week so here we go we know that uh a lot of parents put a lot into it and so do the kids so now the uh vaughn kings have mitchell has his guy pinned up against the boards abu marie's up top and it, but it comes cool. out and there we go now there's number 29 mitchell he's carrying the puck now he's got kirk with him Gets it to Kirk, but Kirk can't get it. Go front. There's Olden or Abu Marie. He puts it back to Whoa. Berg. Berg. Oh, sorry, number number 28. And it comes out now, and it's stopped by Kirk at the blue line. Kirk, he's trying to slow down play. Gets it back to Mitchell, and there goes Vaughn. They go chasing it in. Braun puts it into. Uh, uh, Sorry, I, uh, I think that's Kova Savage. Yes, it was. And they dump it all the way down, and we get an icing call there. And 17.55 left to go in the second period. 0-0. Zero, zero. I think this is the longest time the entire tournament a game has been tied at 0-0. Zero, zero. That's just, it's been a very offensive, heavy tournament, and these two teams are matching up with one another really, really well, especially defensively. There's puck drop. And... The Waxers win it, cruise it, cruise it, sends it over to Butt. And there's Adams, and he gets hit, falls down. And now the Kings will come out, and they're headed the other way, but Koza, Koza pinches at the red line, keeps it in, gets to the blue line, and then we get a stoppage of play because they go offside. I thought Adams was, look, he, I thought he looked a little shaken up there at first, but he looks just fine. He's definitely uh, took two pretty big hits last game. He's definitely not going to go off in a, that easily. He's a tough kid and a hard worker. And here's the faceoff. Markham wins it. And there it goes back to Markham. Cruise it. But no, it gets that's Castiglione. He dumps it in. And there's Koza again. He's on the puck. He puts it over to the assistant captain, number 28. That would be Brigliano, or Popov, sorry, Popov. He's chasing the puck, can't get to it. There's Adams, he just turns it around and throws it into the far corner, unable to keep it in though. So they're gonna come this way now. There's Scorsese on the puck. He gets it into the zone, but Senkai is there for it. And he gets it and he puts it all the way, but Holt, Holt goes across the red line, goes to the blue line, gives it to Ferry. Ferry's on it, takes a shot, goes right into the glove of Callahan for the easy save. Goaltenders battle, shots 14, Markham, Vaughn six, and like I said, no goals on each side. And just wanna thank our sponsors, the period sponsor, the Sioux Thunderbirds, 
The power play sponsor, that would be JDM Sports. The goal sponsor, Thompson Hardwood Re Floor Refinishing. And the Sioux Concussion Clinic, thank you very much for your support in the Sioux St. Marie and Algoma region. Let's get back to the action with Rod. And it comes back, goes all the way back, and there's Piggott. Piggott has it. He sends it up, and it's dumped all the way down. There's icing once again. There it is. So and it's going to come all the way back down here. Pretty Pretty busy day in hockey with the OHL draft and uh, this tournament's wrapping up. We've got a lot of tabs open on the computer today. Yeah, for sure. And uh, here we go. Ferry back to Turbot. Turbot, Bergliano shoots, stop. Nice save by Callahan and Vaughn's producing a little bit more offensively early on. Looks like Callahan, oh, he might be a little shaken up. No, no, he, he's shaking it off. Yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit of a stinger, but like I said, none of these guys are going to be dropping out for, yeah, for sure. little bruises and little stingers today. Yeah, and Ferry tries to win the draw, draw unable to do so, and it comes up. There's Mikko Giannikas, and Piggott's there, and but the Von Kings break in. Ferry's down there trying to keep the puck, and Piggott's stick got stuck under... Uh, one of the Vaughn players, there's uh, Piggott. Piggott turns, he's going in deep for the puck. Gets in there, he's gonna try and get it over to a player and open up some space. Mikko Giganikas is on it now. And he's going, he's coming around the horn. He just dumps it back into the corner there. And that's Piggott that gets hit up against the boards. Mikko Giganikas keeps it in. And the Vaughn Kings try to dump it to the sidewall and Turbot was there but unable to do much with it. And that's, Vaughn D trying to get uh, that puck out and they do so. It comes to Turbot. There's Ferry. Ferry breaks the blue line and it gets put in the corner, but easy save by Callahan. Callahan, another save and he puts it up into the mesh. So he's going to get a face off to the right of him. Yep, we got 15 minutes, 24 seconds left to go. Still 0 0. And 12 52 p.m. here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Thank you all for watching on, or uh, watching or listening either on Sioux Sports or True House Radio. We're up to 134 viewers. And here we go, Johnson. Johnson puts the puck out, goes to the middle, all the way across, can't make it. So it's got about going back the other way. But Burt keeps it in, puts it back for Collins. Collins is in there. And there's Govindaris, he's helping him out. And uh, Kim comes the other way with Lee. Lee breaks across the red line. Kim's there. Kim trying to make a move on the D, unable to do so. And he puts it in front, but there's Johnson. Now he's headed the other way. He tries to push it across to Govindaris. And Lanitzer just gets that all the way out, and Kim heads back. And if you want to go faster, here comes Kim. And Lee, yeah. Lee has the puck, and it's put out. And Kim gets stick checked, but Callahan's there. Callahan shot. The goalie really didn't know where it went. And Callahan puts it in deep again. Back to Callahan. Callahan looks. He takes a shot. Hits one of the D. May have thought of going back to his other partner instead. But he's tried anyways. And now here comes Govindaris. He comes in waiting for his line. In. And uh, the goalie there, Armelin, makes the easy stop. And he'll get another face off to his right with 14-11 yeah. left in the second. Yeah, and a nice save by Armelin. And he's been on fire today. I would say, well, it's pretty obvious the two goaltenders are front runners for our announcer's choice players of the game. They've been on fire. Armelin especially, he's been making some, a few diving saves and just covering the entire net, it seems. So Bert Butt gets kicked out from the faceoff. Kim moves in to go against Skozazi. Skozazi wins the puck drop, comes all the way back out, Abu Marie. Brings it, he gets it out to Kirk, but Kirk's not able to control it, but he's still on it. Popov is on him. Skozazi dumps it in. It hits Koza. Koza back checks. Now he's waiting for his partner, Popov. Popov has it. He breaks out now. He's going the other way. It comes across the red line. Smart move, dumps it in. Makes his players go work for it, and it comes all the way back out, and Popov plays Kirk. And here's the Waxers. Cruise it, pushes it over to Koza. Koza up to uh, Adams, now Butt has it. Butt gets it peeled. Popov brings it back into the neutral zone and Kruzik calls for it, but he misplaces it. 
Now he's trying to push it back in and Kim or Adams was able to put it in, but there would have been a delayed call, so they all came back out. And there's icing once again. 13-17 left to go in the first period. And gonna come back down, as you said, for the icing. Later today at 3 p.m., we got the Ottawa 67s against the Waterloo Wolves, one versus four. Gonna be a good one. Yeah, here we go, puck drop. Vaughn wins that off, high off the glass. Senkai plays it, keeps it in. Able to get it all the way in deep, but Armelin comes out and plays that puck. That's another thing, he's really good at playing the puck. Senkai there now, gets it all the way back in. Adams puts it all the way back behind the net. And uh, Vaughn tries to get it out, and they're able to do so. Kim's skating after it. He's on Senkai. Senkai comes back. He's being told. Miko Jonikas said no, but he gives it to him anyways. And Mitchell now. Mitchell or Kovacic is in there. And there's a trip. Does it call? Yes, it is. Ferry gets tripped up. Now the Waxers. There we go. Waxers yeah. will get their penalty there. So I think that will be Senkai going off her trip against Ferry. So Vaughn here goes on the peep uh, power play. So here they go. They're going to set it up in their end. They've got Abu Marie. They've got Mitchell, Holt, Brigliano, and Kirk out there. And big opportunity for the Vaughn Kings here for sure. And it comes back, Brigliano has it. Over to Kirk, shot! Oh. Misses the net wide. Now it's back to Holt. Holt, side, top of the circle. Brigliano over to the other top. Oh. Shot, nice save by the goalie. And Kirk leads. And there we go scoring. again. Back over, Brigliano in the middle. Back over to the high slot, Kirk turns. And he's looking again, and they switch off, him and Brigliano. And here we go. They're trying to get some movement in the front of the net here. Guy's got to get moving. He puts it over cross ice, looking for back door. Unable to find the guy. Kirk now. Kirk starts to work. Comes across, shoots. And the goalie has no clue where it is. And it's gloved ahead. And Policicchio is throwing it all the way out the blue line. Yeah, it was a hand pass. Yeah. So, rightfully so. Rightfully so. And Callahan and uh, Poppa fist pumping each other as it was uh, a minute and 18 seconds left in that penalty. But they are doing a very good job of killing it off. So we're going to have a puck drop right out in front of King's End there. Here comes Mitchell. Mitchell. They push it forward, but the Vaughan, or Waxer is able to dump it all the way down. And here we go. That's Brigliano, he gets back there, starts to turn. He's got uh, Kirk beside him, but he keeps hold of the puck, brings it in, and he dumps it in deep. Abu Mariz after against Burt, but goes to Brigliano. Brigliano back to Kirk, across to Holt. Holt takes a shot. You know nice what? save again. Armelin just makes it look so... Callahan. Callahan, sorry, makes it look so easy. Yeah. Pardon me. I, I, Keep switching up the goalies there. Sorry, guys. My voice is... <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my voice. So yeah, we only got I a couple apologize. games left here. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, been a right, But I, I apologize if I got that yeah. wrong. That it's was been, Callahan. It's been quite the tournament, And though. it's hard, though, when both goalies are so good. Yeah. So La La Lanater pushes it across. And here's uh, into the middle. And the Kings are pressuring. Lanater has the puck. Shot. Gets blocked by Markham Waxers. They just won't let a shot go through the... Uh, through to their goalie. They're very, very good yeah, at uh, blocking are. pucks. So here comes Lee. He pushes it up to, who do you think? Kim. Kim comes across, stops at the hash mark, and come back to Lanater, back mm -hmm. to Kim. Mm -hmm. Kim's at the uh, above the circle, back to Scorsese. Scorsese's unable to do anything with it. He stops, he looks, Lanater. Now Lanater's deciding what to do. He takes a shot. Almost had a tip from Ferry there. Good idea. But he wasn't able to get on it. Yeah. And there's Callahan once again. Goes right into the bread basket. No rebound. Yeah, just unable to get his stick on it. And unfortunately for Ferry, because that was a great opportunity. And it'll be a face-off in front of the goaltender again. So Ferry will take that draw. And... Here it is, he wins it, Kim has it. Puts it back to Lander, Lander, Braun out there. And Kim gets, goes in. He's going to put it behind him. That's to Ferry, Ferry moves in. Ferry has a puck, wraps oh. around, tries to stuff it in. Oh, Unable here we go, a little so. bit of pushing. And, and the oh. referees just get the boys separated. 
and you can tell that these kids are disciplined. Yeah. You know, they know what this game means, so they're not going to take any silly penalties, that's for sure. I just can't believe we're halfway through this game almost and still no goals on the board. Not surprised at all. Right. But two high-power teams play, that's how it always is. And here we go. Unless the one team's having a horrible game. I would have expected at least one at this point, though. Uh -huh. And so now what will happen? They will drop the puck again to the left of Callahan. And Scazzese takes that draw. He doesn't win it. Waxers dump it all the way down. Hits the goalie. No icing. The goalie sends it up to Callahan. Callahan puts it across. And he hits number 18. Ball. He takes a shot. Just misses. High. And they keep going. That was Oldenhoff. And Callahan's on it. And Scozzese, he moved back to old, to, uh, pardon me, Turbot. Turbot was out there, not Oldenhoff. And it's pushed up. And Waxers head back the other way. And he, they get put up against the boards. Both Scozzese hits his man as well. And there's Piggott. Piggott's pressuring the... Uh, Scuzzese pushed up against the boards and the refs are yelling, move the puck, let's go. And Paula Ciccio and the linesmen are having a chat while it's happening and it gets dumped out all the way down and misses the net so we have icing. And 9.35 left to go in the second period. It's no score, shots are 15 to 13. And, oh, it looks like these two guys might be getting into it, Collins and Smith, but they're just going to skate away. Uh, no, these kids are just really good at smack talk. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So here we go, and there's a drop, and Waxers win it, but Castiglione is able to get it out, and they dump it all the way down, no icing, and the Waxers will try to get out. Smith keeps it in. Smith puts it down to the hash marks. There was a player there, um, uh, but he couldn't keep the puck. So Waxers moved the other way. It comes all the way out. Johnson didn't quite get to him, so Burt now flicks it up. And the Vaughn Kings now take control. Br Brigliano comes the other way. He has Castiglione with him. And I think number... 20, oh yeah, that's Castiglione, he's out there, yep. and that's the defenseman who's dumping that puck in deep and hoping his, his forwards can uh, get it, but they are unable to do so, and Johnston's out there lurking around, the late offside here, and Mitchell now, and they're going to take us, uh, Mitchell gets off the ice, Johnston's in, here comes Johnston, Johnston shoots, just misses that top right corner, and here we go, Kim's on the player. Oh, and, and the, the goalie's yeah. off the net. Yeah, and the, the net went off its moorings. We're going to get a stoppage of play, but it's going to be outside of the Vaughn Kings um, zone. So that means that the Waxers must have knocked that uh, go the net off the stanchions. I don't know if Producer Jay saw it, but yeah. that's it then. So here we go. That's Ferry. He tries to win the draw, but Kirk and Kirk comes back and gets the puck. It's sent across ice. And here we go. They break up, but it goes to Adams. Here he comes, Adams. He's got some speed, but he gets hit by Kirk. And Kirk makes the right idea. Abu Mari has it. He flicks it up now. And it's knocked down by one of the waxers, but the Vaughn Kings still go the other way. Ooh. Ferry takes a shot. It's open, but Adams picks it up, and he starts to wind up. Tries to go past the D. He plays that perfectly, and he was looking for a call from the refs, but they just put their po their uh, whistles in their pockets now, which is nice to see. And it's back to Senkai. Senkai tips it, hits Cruz, and he tips it all the way in for a no icing call. Now it comes back, and Lanader, Lanader puts it back to Brigliano. Brigliano up to Kirk. Kirk into the center. Now it's bro Abu Marib. He busts in and he's trying. Puts it in front. Oh. Ferry can't get a shot. And they work hard on it. Senkai now has it. Ferry, he's going against them. But he sends it to his D partner, then across to Cruz it. Cruz it. Puts it. Now Cruz it has it again. He puts it straight across. Shot. Save. Another shot. Oh. Misses the net. And he's behind the net. And shot. Digging for the puck there. And 
The Kings are not gonna allow that. That's for darn sure. Yeah, and you, you don't even need to worry about a rebound when you have a goaltender like Armelin in the net because he saw it right away and snuffed it in his glove and no problem. Oh, I just wanna mention that if yep. this this game does stay tied, yes. the only thing that changes in overtime, it goes from a five minute sudden death to a 10 minute instead. But is it three on three or four on three four? Three on three. Oh, really? Yes. Is it continuous? Yes. Okay. Uh, so and then it goes to five on five, no, um, shootout after the 10 minutes. Oh, so there is shootout, but there's no shootout tomorrow, correct? I'm not sure. Okay. The OHF has told me they'll give me the rules for today and they'll give me the rules tomorrow. Okay. So, so we will bring that to everyone yeah. tomorrow in case, you know, that happens. That also, puck also looked like it went off the mesh, but no whistle. No, so it hit a stanchion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So here it comes out and the waxers chip that in, get rid of the icing. And Callahan there, but he gives it to Miko. Miko sends it over to Johnson. He, shoots, he, he scores! scores! Top Jetta! Nathan Helfenstein, what a goal! And looked like looked like his uh looked like a different German player there. Looked like a little bit of Leon Dreisidel in that <laughs> shot. What a shot, Nathan <laughs> Helfenstein. That's a good comparison. It is a big, a big burly offensive. Uh, minded player who also uses the body. He's, he plays a little bit like Dreisaitl. Yeah, here we go, comes back. Koza, back over to Popov. Popov, back to Govindaris. Govindaris comes in, but he stopped. And Mitchell gets on the puck for Vaughn, and he sends it up into the middle, but it's taken by the Waxers. Govindaris over to Johnson. Johnson, he puts it back to Popov. Popov shoots, go! Two in a row! That's two in the span of 14 seconds. Wow. So the, this Waxer team certainly has woken up offensively, and we knew it was going to come at one point for one of these teams. Yeah, and and, you know, that's always what happens. You wait, you wait, you wait, and then all of a sudden one of them decides, ah, that's enough time, let's do it. And I think if there's any time for Max Popoff to get his first goal of the tournament, it's right now. Yeah, for sure. A little insurance marker and a timeout, Vaughn, I think we're going to... Unless Rod has anything to add there, we're gonna no, take a we'll quick break as well. Yeah. And we're gonna let the Markham Waxers have a little celebration and then they're gonna have a chat for Rod Trudell. I'm John Ostrowski. We'll be back in 30 seconds. We've got 6.14 left in this second period. The Markham Waxers sure have put on, hit the gas, but the Vaughn Kings, they just took a timeout, and let's see if they can bounce back. Here comes Vaughn, they're in the end of the Waxers. Castiglione's on it, and he's got some help, but here comes the Waxers. They break it out, and Johnston's on it now, but there's a shot, score! Wow! Yes. The coaches, that just goes to show you, the coaches are smart and they know when and where and how to get these kids motivated and when to take their time out. So that's nice to see, goes up. Now it's two to one for the uh, Markham Waxers and you can see that the Waxers are not too happy right now, that's for sure. And the thing about hockey is you only get one time out of game, so it's hard to know when to use it. You, you can't argue the Vaughn Kings knew when to use it. That's just amazing. For sure. And, and now this whole complexion of this game changes because the Vaughn Kings, they have all the momentum in the world. Here it goes. Kuziezi carried that puck in and uh, he was unable to keep it in. Adams was on it, comes out, but Kirk turns the other way and he comes down. He's got uh, Scorsese with him, but unable to keep it. Oldenhoff puts it behind the net and it's kept in by uh, one, Kirk. Kirk 
Bill loses it. Now Adams oh, is here after. He comes. It's a foot race between him and Holt. Holt just hammers him into the boards. No call there, shouldn't have been either. Scorsese, he tries to get it out, unable to do so. Oldenhoff shoots. I think that was Oldenhoff, yes it was. And the Vaughn Kings get that puck going the other way. Abu Marie, unable to get that going anywhere deep. So they come back again. And here comes Callahan. He crosses line, takes Boy. a slap shot, and that goes over and almost hits the eclipse. It's getting a little loud in here, and you can tell this is a playoff atmosphere right now. For sure. So we're going to get a stoppage of play outside right in front of us at the blue line there. Yes, we will. And Waxers come out. Vaughn has a lot, their guys ready, and pucks dropped, and Waxers win it. Miko Giannikas is on oh, it. Oh, there it is. Loses it to Lee. Here comes Lee. Lee does a toe drag oh. and shoots and almost puts it five hole. It was wide open. Miko Giannikas turns, goes the other way. He's one quick cookie, too, and he puts it all the way in, but he loses it. Smith wraps it and sends it out for a pop if pop if puts it in. Now... Someone has a hooking call coming here. It looks like Nico Giannikas. Yeah, that's the right call. Yeah, and there we go. Definitely. He makes the right call there. And he's you looks know. a little bit confused. Uh, but I think the Vaughn Kings deserved a call. They, you mean the, I think Markham? The, uh, Markham, because they, the refs missed a couple calls, I think, on them. Yeah. For sure. Anyways. Well, that's what the officials do. Sometimes they'll yeah, miss a call. Fine. They'll be like, oh, I forgot that one and call kind of an ambiguous one they're later smart. on. Yeah, they're not, yeah. you know, they try to keep everything fair. Yeah, and that's, so that's Ferry the best takes way to the do draw it. And it's sent out. Lanner misses it. it was going to pinch, but it was just too hard. So it comes all the way back. And there we go. Arm Mullen comes out, stops that puck. Lanner moves out. And he gives it up to Scorsese. Scorsese dumps it in. Weird bounce. And there we go. Number 29, Callahan makes the easy glove save and puts that to the left, to the right of him for a face-off with a minute 42 left in the penalty for Miko Janikas. Ferry tries to win it, unable to do so. It's hit a high off the glass by Collins. All the way down it goes. Armelin comes out, plays that puck, sets it up for Lanater. Lanater has... Kim's going down the right wing. He gives it to him. Kim's in in there. Kim all the way over to Scorsese. Scorsese tries to stop it. He is unable to. Right off the glass again. That was by Collins and back out to Scorsese. Scorsese across to Kim. Kim stops, waits. They set. Comes back to Lanader. Lanader shoots right on the goalie. He makes a simple save. Gets another puck drop. Now to the left of him. Easy for mm. Callahan. Nothing. E sure. Nothing. Uh, what is it? What am I trying to say? Uh, nothing easy for the offense. That is, and, and no easy rebounds. Nothing yeah. really uh, left in front of the net. Here we go. Minute five left in the p penalty, and it's pushed over to Holt. Holt shoots right to the bread basket again. Another good save by Callahan. One thing about him. He comes out and he plays that puck, right? Yeah. He doesn't stay in, in the blue paint. He, he Whenever the puck is being shot on him, he works his way squared to the puck. So there's a puck drop. Blue Marie tries to win it, unable to. And it gets dumped. Brigliano keeps it in. And it goes down the hole. Back to Brigliano. He misses it. So there's a foot race. There's Olfenstein. He, he's trying to work his way on it, but he can't get down to it. So he starts the back check. Elfen, Elfen, Helfenstein moves. Kirk. Kirk comes across. Goes into the corner. And they set up Piggott. Piggott shoots it up. Him and Helfenstein will stay out there. And they're going to go set up 1-3 now. And that's their PK. One man in deep and the other guy will switch off. And Piggott's able to stop that from going across. Abu, and there's Abu Marie. He gets put into the boards. Oh, but wow. he takes down the Waxer player with him. And Brigliano is able to keep it in. And now it comes back up. Brigliano has Piggott on him. And Holt has to retreat for that puck. He turns and he burns. And he's waiting for help. Mitchell's there. And Mitchell has it. He gives it over to Kirk. Kirk breaks through. He breaks through one guy. 
He has Brigliano with him, takes a shot. There it is There's again. Callahan again, another save. They all look the same. So my question is, is it better to attack a goaltender like that from the point, or should you just try and get in and shoot on him closer? Like, nah, how, you how gotta, do you attack that? You got to go back door. You got to yeah. go shot on net, rebound. You got to be yeah. trying to hit the pads. You got to keep it out of his glove. You got to keep it from going high. You, know, you keep it down low, get shots. Doesn't matter whether they're from the point or from the slot, as long okay. as they come through a shooting lane. And then you got to get on it and get your sticks on that and get in front of the goalie. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot you have to do. And then you got to remember that you have two other defensemen we're trying to push you out of your position, Yeah, right? of course, and creating the shooting lanes is huge. I didn't even think it's, of that. Uh, yeah, it's very hard. So here we go. Now we go the other way. Tur Turbert, he shoots that in. It goes in. Callahan tries to stop it. Koza picks it up. He dumps it, and Callahan keeps it in for Vaughn Kings. Now it goes behind the net. Abu, or, uh, sorry, that's number eight, Mazzotti. He's on the puck now, and he's unable to do much, but... It goes to Capel. Capel has it. He shoots. Goes wide. And the other Vaughn Kings players on it again. And that's Turbot, I think. Turbot. That's out to Capel. Capel down to the ferry. Ferry shoots. And uh, sorry, I got mixed up between uh, Turbot and uh, Masur, uh, the other player there. And his shot on net. Nice and save. And there's Pop. If Pop is in there. He shoots it all the way down. He just wants to get it. He just wants to get some yeah. fresh legs out there. And that was a smart thing to do. Ice it, and their penalties are over, and the shots on goal are very close. Yeah, and that's the right call. And this at this level, I didn't even know that you could get an icing and get a change. So that's always the right move, I think. You just if you need a change. Well, it depends. You gotta make sure you trust your goal. Yeah, that's a good point yeah, too. For sure. So there's San guy gives it up to Johnson. Johnson, he just dumps that in. Govindaris is hard after it, but he's unable to get there. Under and a minute in the period. Sent down. Yes, it is. Sent down. And Oldenhoff's on it. And we have, I think, an icing. Or, pardon me, an offside. Or... High stick is what high Jay's stick. saying. Is it high stick, Jason? Yeah. So that was a high stick. That was from producer Jay as he's glued into the screen over there. Good to have a third pair of eyes. Yeah. And uh, here we go. Oldenhoff back to uh, Sankai, Sankai carries it out. Johnson now, goes across. Blue line, Collins, Collins by himself. Shoots, misses. And now the Kings will break out. Sankai misses that, so it should be no icing. And there is it. Goalie comes out, Callahan and plays it. Now it's pushed over to Sankai. Sankai flicks it up, goes to the middle. Number eight, Govindaris has it. He brings it in, tries to throw it over to Collins, unable to do so, but then he does. Now, backtrack, Scorsese, Scorsese. He's looking for someone to give it to. He's skating with it. He dumps it in. Castiglione's on it now. Castiglione, he tries to do something. Now we got a stoppage of play, 11 seconds left. But we are in the Waxer zone, so, you know, Vaughn does have a chance here. If they set something up, yes, unfortunately, they, they cannot take a time out to, to draw up a play. So I'm, I, I, I'm pretty sure this team's worked on it in practice. So oh, absolutely. Here we go, Mitchell, Castiglione, Kim. Here it is. And Ferry gets called out. And Miko Giannikas comes in. And he kind of just falls on the puck. And then the waxers hit it off the glass. And it comes out. And Lee just dumps it right back in. And two seconds left. And that will be the period. And I'm out. Uh, go ahead, John. End of the second period. Just going to get the stats for you as my box score loads. 15 shots for the Vaughn Kings, nine shots for the Waxers. The Vaughn Kings have had a better period than their first period. However, so have the Markham Waxers. That's the issue for Vaughn is Markham's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, making it difficult. Vaughn gained a lot of confidence after scoring that goal to make it 2-1. to one. However, Markham's right there. So it's going to be one heck of a third period. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in 15 minutes for Rod Trudell. And if he has nothing else to add, my name is John Ostrowski. We're going to grab a coffee, and we'll be right back.
welcome back for third period action. You know, something special is going on in the arena right now. The Vaughn Kings are waiting to go on the ice here. And all the fans are wrapped around the entrance where they come out. Parents, fans, and giving these boys a cheer because this could be the last period of hockey for them if they cannot make it through the game. So there, there is a bronze medal tomorrow, but I mean to move on to the championship. Not fair so they're trying to just get these boys pumped up, and I love to see that. So they have that, and Markham is sitting waiting, and we're just going to let the ice dry a bit as we can see a little actually quite a bit of water still out there so i'm sure that's what we're waiting for there yeah and that's awesome to see for the yeah, lawn side it's pretty cool they're still going at it so now the refs come out so the teams will be able to come on the ice now and here they go and there's the parents both sides giving props to their teams i love to see it so now we're gonna get some action here starting yes, we pretty will. soon. And we're very excited going into this third period. 22-20 shots in favor of the Markham Waxers. Dare I say, this is the most evenly matched teams of this tournament. They're just, they play each other so well, they complement each other's game. And it's just, it was a darn good hockey game last time they played. But now that they're six days into this tournament, it's just like 100 times better, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's been nice to watch. So the referees give each other fist pumps and we get puck drop. And the two 17s line up against each other. And Piggott wins that, comes back into Vaughn's end. Lanater's on it, Lanater. He comes around the boards, he's being pressured though. And here we go. Now comes back out and Miko Gianicus, he keeps it in and so does Helfenstein. He gets that in. Comes back and Armelin dumps it around the corner, but Vaughn's unable to get it out, but they do so now. And it's put back in. Lanader picks that puck up, comes off the boards, but Helfenstein there, and he goes offside, yeah. and there's the call. Right call, definitely an offside, and it'll be a face off at the blue line. Here we go, Collins tries to win the draw, does, gets it back to Burt. Burt, shot on net, blocker save. And there's Smith on his man. And he switches off, goes to Collins. But he shoots, he scores! Collins comes from behind the net, wraps it in and says, yep, let's put a nail in it. But we still have 19-13, so these boys better just keep the feet moving and I know that the Vaughn Kings can come back that's for darn sure they've got firepower coming out that's for sure and that was the Owen Sound prospect Tate Collins with a beautiful wraparound fooled the defense and in the back of the net here we go 19 minutes left to go and Markham has possession 3-1 Waxers and it's pushed across and brought back out that's Collins Govindaris is with him and so is Johnson. Johnson's on the D, but pushed over to Holt. Holt up to Skozezi. Skozezi to Kovacevic. Kovacevic comes in. Skozezi picks the puck up. And Skozezi looks back to Holt. Holt shoots. Deflection almost goes towards in the net. And Callahan keeps it in. He's still working to keep it in. Skozezi helps him out with that. He's able to get it down. And he gives it to Brigliano. And Brigliano gives it to 60 and it's back Callahan shoots and it hits the mesh and we'll get a stoppage. It'll be a face off in front of the goaltender Callahan who's been fantastic today. Only allowing one goal on 20 shots and he's been everywhere. He is he, he was the third ranked goaltender in the OMHA East with a goals against average of 195. If this guy is the third ranked goaltender in that division, then they must have some fantastic netminders over uh, there. Yeah, and it comes back <clears throat> and it's passed up to Adams. Adams crosses out, he breaks through, across the blue line, gonna try and split the D and he sends it to the net and unable to do much with it there. And now the Vaughn Kings come work out. It gets to Capel. Capel can't do much. Lanader has it again. He dishes it off to Turbot. Turbot comes in. He's getting shot backhand. 
Doesn't get much on that. And the waxers turn and burn. Here we go. Popith over to Adams. Adams has it. Sends it to cross. Ooh. Oh, beautiful shot. And it's still open. Now Adams is still on it. He turns, tries to shoot, unable to get much off. Capel thought about, he tried to dish it up to his player, but just couldn't get there. Now Capel has it. He dumps it in. Vaughn Kings go off for a change. One man stays out. And Waxers dump it now. It's in center. And Helfenstein, he gets the puck. And he gives it to Butt. Butt shoots it. And it just goes into go the around. corner. And now the Waxers, Miko Giannikis is on it. But Mitchell sends it back. And it goes over. And it's chipped back into center ice. Senkai chases it back into his own zone. He goes, he reverses, and he gives it back to his defenseman. And his partner shoots it up. But he hits, yeah, he hits Helfenstein. And Piggott goes, gives it back to Miko Giannikas. Miko tries to shoot, unable to do much there. And then it goes in deep, unable to stay. And now the Waxers still have it. That's Helfenstein on it. He's got the puck. He rims it back in deep. Piggott, he's on it. He's got the puck behind the net. He's working it hard. He gives it back to Oldenhoff. Oldenhoff keeps it in off his skate, but Lee will pick that puck up. Lee has Kim. Lee goes, he tries to split the defenseman, unable to do so. High off the glass, but it comes out to Holt, and there's a hand pass there, so we'll get a stoppage of play. And face off at the blue line, that is the Vaughn Kings blue line and 16-15 left to go in the game. 23-20, Markham shots and thank you to our sponsors. The period sponsor, Sue Thunderbirds. The power play sponsor, JDM Sports. The goal sponsor, Thompson Hardwood Flooring and the Sioux Concussion Clinic. Thank you very much for your support of sports in the Algoma region. There we go and uh, Armelin makes the easy save yeah, there. Nice glove He'll grab. Get another uh, face off to the left of him. So. Paula Chicho is given the option to change. No one's changing. So here we go. Scazzese, he posts up against Collins. Collins wins it back to Govindaris. Nice. nice kick save by Armelin. Back out to Collins. Nice blocker save actually off his stick. And Armelin's playing tough in there, giving his team a chance. Mikko Gianica. Manicus dumps it. Goes oh, over top. What Govindaris. A save. And I think he may have got a piece of that. Now Johnson. Johnson out to Collins. Takes the shot. And he hits Callahan. Callahan breaks out now. He's got two with him. He goes across the blue line. He goes in deep. He's got Abu Marie with him. And Squazese's now on the sidewall. And he can't get to it. Holt. Back to Holt. And then it, there it comes back to Holt again. He did go over to his D partner, but he gave it back to him. Kirk is out there. Now Lanader picks up the puck. Lanader, he skates across the red line. Comes in, across the blue line. He tries to chip it off the board, so it, Abu Mori, but it kind of went too far for him. So now it comes back out to Govindaris. He breaks in, he's gonna go get a change. Butts on the puck, and Lanader breaks, but it's Mankiss who picks the puck up, gives it to Kirk. Kirk has it. He tries to send it over to Ferry, but he's unable to. Adams goes the other way. Adams has butt, and it goes back, Adams shoots, and he's trying to just smack it in the net. And there's Koza, Koza dumps it deep, and it goes back to Koza again from behind the net. Adams, he tries to just chip it. He's now got it up front. And there's a guy right in front with the puck. He Ooh. turns, shoots, that was cruising. And Armelin's easy to make another, is able to make another easy save, and they'll get a stoppage of play to the right. But the waxers are still buzzing. And, yeah, you uh, saw, well, going back to that save right there, you saw Armland so quickly get into the butterfly and save that puck. Yeah. That was so easy for him, wasn't it? For sure. So now we got to stop here. Here's Piggott against Ferry. Or no, sorry, Piggott against, yeah, that was Ferry. And Armland makes the stop there, so we'll go for another stoppage. And the Markham waxers... They are playing with the lead, but they're used to being the underdogs. They did come into this tournament defeating the number one consensus team in the province in Ajax. So they're comfortable with being the underdogs, but right now they are controlling the play or the pace of play a little bit more than the Kings are. And, uh, you know, but as a result, have more shots and more goals. And here we go. Ferry for the Vaughn Kings. He dumps it in deep. We've got 14-14 left on that clock in the third. Helfenstein, he picks the puck up. 
And there we go, Miko Giannikas comes the other way. And he tries to bring it all the way in, but Brigliano's all over him. And number 12, Smith, carries the puck out. And Miko's sitting there, and I don't know what's going on. I'm not on, sure why you, Miko Giannikas was staying there. Oh, he's waiting for well, a he's stick. He's waiting to get oh, a okay. stick because Brigliano was lying on top of it. Kovacevic dumps it in. It gets dumped in all the way down. And it gets sent out front. Ferry with the puck. There's Kova Savage digging. There's all of them are digging. Oh, and he saved. It's, oh, here we go. And, and he's covered it with his blocker there. Yeah, I've seen that many times. And the goalie skates out of the uh, drama in front of the net and gets himself away from it. And ref takes control. The referees take control right away, which you like to see. No one getting hurt. 13:36 left in this third. We got a face off to the right of Callahan. And yeah, here we go to the right of Callahan. Uh, new fresh legs for both sides. And there's the last goal scorer, Tate Collins, on the ice. Oh, it looks like they're bringing it back out to the blue line for some reason. Oh, no, no, no they're no, not. No. That's, yeah, a little bit interesting there. It'll be a face off regardless, and we'll get going here. And Matthew Johnson also out there with four goals last night. Yeah, and me could, or pardon me, and uh, they send it up to Govindaris. Govindaris tries to send it across to Johnson. Johnson can't play it. Goes to Callahan. Callahan over to Holt. Holt back to Tony and Mitchell, but he steal. Johnson steals that from him. He's looking for a shot. He passes it instead. Govindaris almost was able to get a stick on that, and Mankiss retreats. Mankiss then sends it up to the blue line to Johnson. Johnson's unable to keep the puck, and it comes to Holt. Holt over to number er, 16. That's um, Callahan. Callahan dumps it in, or dumps it to Cap Capel. He puts it in. And there we go. They turn, Waxers. They come the other way. There's Govindaris. He gets the stick on it. Holt's there too. Holt, he's winding up, headed the other way, but he gives it up to Capel. Capel shoots, and he hits the blocker, and Holt's on it now. Holt, he's going to go in, but it gets rimmed high, and, but Glanader keeps it. There's a deep, there's oh, a nice part of me. Save. He tries to deflect it in front of the net, but... The goalie makes a beautiful save, Callahan. Now there's another hit there, and the Waxers will break out. There's Mankiss. Mankiss has the puck. He gives it up to uh, cruise it. He tried to chip it all the way in, unable to do so. Lee has the puck, goes across the blue line, waiting for Kim, and the other the forward is in there deep too. That's Squazazi. Squazazi uh, is unable to do anything, so Lanader has to retreat, get that puck. Now it's... Sent back up to Kim. Kim has it. Gives it over to Lee. Lee tried to give it back to Kim. Kim was tied up there. And now here comes Adams. Adams comes in with Cruz. And, and, but nothing happens. And Skazizi takes control. Goes back there. There's Cruz again. Nakosa again. And uh, he dumped it all the way down smartly. And he allows the Vaughn Kings to try to break out. Yep. Kuz again. And it's a hand pass. He's, we've seen a ton of hand yeah. passes, but they've been called very, like, tightly. Those, like, almost to the point where some aren't and some are. And, you know, it's just different. Well, my understanding is you're just supposed to bat the bat the puck down with your glove to your stick. You're not well, supposed you're not to. you're not allowed to close your yeah, hand. Yeah, I know that. It. Yeah, it doesn't so, seem like they're closing it very no. often, though. Well, some guys close it and put it down mm -hmm. they don't call it and sometimes call it so it's just a bit here it comes comes tonight 17 just misses oh he's got Helfenstein with him he misses it and 17's just pushing his man down on the ground and now he is gonna get an interference call I'm pretty sure so that will be number 17 I'm pretty sure peg it going to the box for interference for two minutes. Yeah, so I have no idea what he was doing there. This is the chance. 11-14 left in the period, and the Vaughn Kings now are on the power play, and they are pretty good if they can set this up. And uh, let's see what happens here. And this, I think we're going to see a good one now. And here we go. Number 92, that's Helfenstein. He's out there for... The Waxers, 
And now they get it. Mitchell has it. Mitchell back to the point. Across to Kirk. Kirk walks the line. They switch off. Goes to the top of the circle. Holt shoots. Oh. Looks for deflection. Nothing there. Hit from behind. Not called. Now it goes back. There we go. And the player's looking for someone to give it to. Gives it to Kirk. Kirk. Gives it back to Brigliano. Brigliano, back, shot. Rebound. Are they gonna get it? Shot. Mitchell misses. Huge. Holt. Tries to keep it in. They try Huge to keep clearance. it in. They can do so. Huge clearance for Now Marco. comes out. That's Brigliano. He skates it. He's going out. He loses it. And Kirk's there. Kirk, he backtracks. And he's gonna start to turn and go up the other way. There he goes. He's gonna break in. He's going across the blue line. He goes hash marks, puts it back to Brigliano. Tries to go cross ice, unable to do so. Here we go. We've got Collins and Johnson. Collins shoots, scores! He goes into that top left corner with ease. And there's our, that's a short-handed goal for Collins. This kid take Collins, you gotta remember that name. He's a beast. That's two goals today, right place at the right time. And that was a, a rifle into the corner. The 272nd overall pick for the Owen Sound attack, as I said earlier, he led the OMHA championships in scoring and was also a U18 All-Star. All -Star. So this guy is legit. Here we go. Then we got a 4-1 game and that's Koza just dumping that puck down. And the goalie, Armelin, comes out, plays it. Lanager picks it up, he skates it out. He skates it up, and that's Scorsese. And Kim, he goes offside. And that's the one thing with this line that I've had noticed, that only prop, they're a great line. I love yeah, watching yeah, yeah. them. But the, the quickness of Kim and Lee, and then you got Scorsese in the middle, it seems like they do go offside a little bit. Yeah. You know, the wingers, because they're flying, man. Well, it's and hard to, it's so hard to find a exactly, player to yeah. match up with them, because they're so fast, those exactly. two. Exactly. So there we go. Popov tries to get it out. He does so, but goes to the red line, and Ferry just dumps it in there. And it's going all the way in. Cole's a beautiful dive. Yeah, that was he just awesome. gets it all the way down. And there we go. We're killing off the rest of this penalty here with 20 seconds left. And there's Kim. Kim, he looks at the clock. He knows he's got to go. Lanitor has it now. Lanitor skates over the blue line, dumps it. He gives it to the man there. Kim has it. Kim, nope, hits a skate. Lee, Lee gives it over to Scorsese. Scorsese shoots. It goes high and over, hits the mesh, and they're gonna get a stoppage of play outside of the blue line. 9.16 left to go. It's definitely an uphill battle for the Vaughn Kings. Just played a great game. Just Markham was just a little bit better, a little bit more sound, and it's unfortunate that one of these teams is gonna have to lose here because they've both been great, haven't they? Yes, they have. Two seconds left here on the penalty. And here we go. Buck drop. Collins looking to win. He does get it, he pushes it out. Smith has it for Vaughn. He dumps it all the way in, hits the goalie and he pushes it to the corner. And he pinches there and he just rocks Collins. And no call on that and there shouldn't be as it was clean. And there we go. Collins lets that go back to the D. It's chipped up and that's Johnson. Johnson breaks in, here we go. This kid can move. Oh yeah. And here's Collins on the rebound but he can't get to it. Now Adams is near it. Back to Govindaris. Govindaris back to Collins. Collins tries to wrap it in front. There it is, Johnson. He tries to take the shot, he misses. It's put oh. back to the back end. They take the shot. Brigliano gets just dumped and pulled down. Capel goes the other way. He's got Kosovic with him. And they can't do too much there. And that's number 91, Johnson. He gets a puck and just dumps it in. And the Waxers get a good change there, that's for sure. So there's um, number 15, Holt. He gets the puck. He sends it back over to his D partner, Callahan. Callahan dumps that puck in, tries to get it deep. Turbot's on it. Senkai sends it across. And Kirk's going to get to the puck first but he can't really, he sends it in deep and Senkai gets to that. 
Now it comes back to Calhan and gives it to Holt. Holt breaks over the blue line, dumps it all the way in, and he's gonna chase it. Senkai, he just can't wrap it around. So they're setting it back up. They're gonna try and get it in a, uh, into the slot. Nobody knows where the puck is or what to do, I guess. Yeah. And Senkai there, he uh, he's getting fought by Mitchell, but they come up with the puck, the waxers now, and it gets dumped out. There's Adams, he's got a lot of speed, this kid. Oh my and goodness. He's, wow, He Callahan. almost got there. Yeah. And Holt, Holt goes around that net, sends it up to number 63, Kirk. Kirk comes in, and he dipsy doodles. He's looking, Mitchell, Lanader, Lanader has it now. He's down at the hash marks, he turns back, looks at the blue line, he's tied up though comes up, Mitchell breaks out, circles, goes in front of the net. It goes right back to Brigliano. Brigliano shoots, tip, nothing there. And it'll go into the court. And it hits someone on the bench once again, the glove. And we'll get a stoppage of play to the right of Callahan. And yeah, 6.48 left to go and might start to get a little chippy here. So officials got to watch out for that. Of course, we have, we've we been having great officiating all week. Uh, there's always going to be controversial calls. It's just the nature of this game. But I think they've been on the ball all week. Oh, me too. So here we go. It's dropped, and the Waxers win that. There's Mikro Giannikas. He comes the other way. He's got Helfenstein with him. He shoots. Oh, nice pat save. And Mikro's back on it. He's got uh, Piggott with him. And... Go John kisses back on it and he dumps it all the way in. Piggott's behind the net. He's got Helfenstein with him, but they dump it. And Kim's trying to look for the puck in his skates. He has to send it across ice and he does so, but there's Helfenstein again all over it. And there we go. Kim. Kim carries that puck. He goes across the blue line. He's waiting for Ferry to catch up. Ferry doesn't catch up. Smith can't keep that puck in. And that's another thing Barn noticed. They haven't been able to hold the blue line very yeah. much today. Hit over to Kim. Kim takes the shot from the high slot. Ah, just hits the pad. No one's there for the rebound. It comes back across, go to Johns or Helfenstein. And you know what? The Waxers say, let's change it up, get some fresh legs. Yep. Kim up to Ferry. Ferry tries to dump it in, and he tries to duck away from that hit. And now the Waxers break out once again. And they dump it down. Hits the goalie. The goalie decides that Sarmelin decides to play it up to Lee. Oh, Lee, Lee had, had his chance Kovacevic. to give it to Kim or to Kovacevic. Kovacevic. Uh, but Ferry's there now. Kovacevic in front of the side of the net. Yeah, oh, he's trying to stuff it in. Oh, he he's calling do goal. So, but it goes in. Yeah, Paul Ciccio saw it. He called goal right away. So I would like to take, we didn't see it, but I'd like to take his word for it. We're gonna. That's oh, back. Okay, so we're gonna just quickly uh, talk about that, or we're gonna quickly. Yeah. And producer Jay, we were just going back yeah, in our uh, for sure. in our stream to find out, yeah. but producer Jay did that they, for us. Uh, they must have pulled it out of the net. Yeah. So here we go. That uh, brings the game closer, and now it's only four to two here. So not only, but they still have time. Five yeah. minutes left. They got some life in them now. Yeah, and shots are tied, 29-29 here in the third period. Here we go, and Holt breaks out for Vaughn, and he sends it up to Scorsese. Holt pumps it all the way in. Callahan comes out. He plays that puck, and gives it to Mankiss. Mankiss. Back to Burt. Burt sends it across, and that hits Johnson. Johnson tries to get it out, and Johnson backpedals. He's and the but the defense get it. Now Mankiss breaks out. He goes across the blue line. He dumps it in deep. He still skates after it. He's on Callahan, and he hits him. And there's number 14. But but, but can't do much. Cal oh Kova Savage yeah. hit him in the back of the skates, or he may have been gone. And the Vaughn Kings are now starting to buzz. There's Armelin, he's out of the net. He passes it up. Great pass oh, to Kovac Savage. And he's pickpocketed though by uh, number 16 there. And here we go. Vaughn Kings breaking in once again. Try to take a shot. And Smith's on that point. He's able to keep it in. 
nice to see. And there we go, it's dumped in deep again here. And Vaughn Kings will start, ah, they were about to start the cycle, but they lost the puck again. Smith's on it, Smith gives it up, gives it to his D partner. That's number 29 for the Kings. Mitchell. And Mitchell will come in now. And he sent Brigliano, Brigliano. He gets the puck, but he can't keep it. Smith now, Smith tries to get a shot on that. And it hits the pads of the boxers player. And the Vaughn Kings are trying to work that as much as they can on the boards. And there's, they're not able to keep it in though. And it comes back out. Capel has it now, Capel. And he puts it in, goes back, and the Vaughn Kings player is able to check his uh, guy, and once again, he does the same thing. Oh, he always a little bit of fighting here. They're going to drop their sticks, but of course, the referee's going to break it up. All right, so I don't know if there's, yeah, they're opening the I would door say up for the Vaughn yeah. Kings I would, only, I would, though. I would say one for each, but it's only going to be oh, number 22. Rigliano. I believe that is number 22, Castiglione. Castiglione. Yes. He's usually not a guy to get involved in that. That's a little surprising, hmm. but. Uh, Am I just making up that name, the other one? Nope. Uh, oh, no, that's 28. Rigliano's Adriano, age, yeah. right? I told uh, her mom, her, or his mother rather, came up to me and said, we, I was mixing up Brond and Bregliano. Yeah, okay. Two B numbers, or two yeah, B yeah, uh, yeah. names with the 20 uh, starting. So. Know, it's hard when we've called 15 games in uh, five, oh, five yeah. days of, uh, up till yesterday, and we still have four more. So, you know, we're, we apologize for any yeah. mistakes, but, you know, mentally sometimes it's it's hard for us to stay in the game, not only the kids. Yeah, it took you know? me two energy drinks this morning. Well, you're a young, <laughs> you're a young buck. Yeah, man. fair enough. You know, I'm pushing 50 here, so <laughs> that's, uh, you know. Hey, exams too, man. It is yeah. mid-April yeah, right now. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, here we go. We got a puck drop, and there's Govindaris back to the point. Gives it over to Oldenhoff. Oldenhoff can't play it. And there's Kirk. Kirk has it. He breaks out. He goes in. Johnson's all over him. And they break out now. There he comes. That's Johnson with the puck. He's something to, you gotta watch him. Lanater and him are fighting. Lanater's on it. Lanater comes, tries to kick it out. Can't, Govindaris has it now. He's gonna give it up to the point. Up there now, Senkai. Back to Govindaris. Big over hit by Kirk. To Oldenhoff. Kirk just hammered Sankai and back in front, unable to do anything. And Turbot hits his player. And it looks like Oldenhoff's face hurts. He's holding his chin or something. That's the second player I've seen do that. And it gets Mikul Janikas. He circles the net and here he goes. Hey, do you want to go faster? Because here he comes. And Tur pig it, pig it. Tries to put it in deep, but he can't do so. Scorsese, Scorsese comes. He goes across. Can't go and beat Burt. Burt gets. He gives it up to Hel Helfenstein, gives it over. And now Piggott has it. But Holt there. Holt, Piggott. Piggott rips it off him. And they back check. There's Brigliano there. Great four check. And there's Holt. Holt gives it to Scorsese. There's. Here comes uh, Miko Giannikas. Oh. He shoots, goes high. Yeah, what a save. Goaltender bailing them out there. And you have to think Vaughn's going to look to pull the goalie and get it back to five on five pretty soon. And then after the 28 seconds left in the penalty, it'll go to either five on five or six on five if they have their goalie pulled. So a little bit do or die time for Vaughn. We're going to bring our players of the game pretty soon to you as we've been doing all tournaments. And here we go, Collins takes the draw, goes back to Burt. Collins tries to tip it down, unable to do so. Callahan dumps it all the way around. Kirk heads the other way. Here we go, Kirk going back. Or, yeah, no, Johnson. Johnson's going to pick that puck up for sure. And he does so. He tries to work his way out, and he can't. And that's Abu Mari on him. Sends it back to Callahan. Shot. Here's the shot. Scores! That's number 17, Ferry. And that was a shot from the point. Big rebound. Ferry 
he gets the puck and puts yeah. it in the net. No problem. Yeah, and that's its second point of the day. One goal, one assist for Paolo Ferry. And here it is. It's four to three for the Markham Waxer. It's going to be a minute long battle to the end of this game. And here we go. Face off for the Markham Waxers, or for both teams at center ice. Last minute of the game. Here we go. And Ferry's called out. Kim moves in. Lee switches spot with Fair or Brigliano, pardon me. And there's the puck drop. And goalie's pulled. And penalty's over. Lanader. Lanader dumps it in. And there we go back to Brigliano. Brigliano cross ice to Ferry. Ferry tries to shoot, but he can't. Back to Lee. And 63's out there. Koza has it now. Koza off the boards. And he tries to get it out. And that's Helfenstein. He is able to get it out. He's there. Oh. There he is. Oh, nice what a block. Save by Eric Lee. Lee. Lee's there, and he keeps that puck from going in. Here we go. They got to get going here. 25 seconds. 20. They got to get a shot on net. Yes, get they set. do. That's all they need. So here we go. And they just can't seem to do so. There it is. Here we go. Shot just misses that net. It was open. And it comes back to Lanner. Lanner, nine seconds. He gets tripped up. 92. There's the call. There will be a trip and call. Six point. Eight seconds left, wow. and you know, I don't know. The Vaughn Kings may have wished they saved their time out now, but yeah. you know, they're such a seasoned team that I'm sure these kids know what to do. That puck's gonna be dropped in the Waxers' end, so here we go. And look who's you on the faceoff dot for the Markham Waxers. Tate Collins, two goals tonight, biggest play of the game. So here we go. And Ubu, Ubu Marie pick, Abu Marie pick, pick, uh, is in the center. He gets it back to Kirk. Kirk shoots. It goes off a man. Here's shot again towards the net. Another shot. Kirk. Oh, it goes high, and that's the game. Markham Waxers. They move on to that gold medal game, and the Vaughn Kings played an amazing week of hockey, but they just come up short with a 4-3 game, and they all now have to go and head to the bronze game, and that's at tomorrow at 10 a.m., I'm sure. So now, let's see. John, do you have anything to say? Who yeah. are your players of the game? And for the players of the game, before I get to that, I want to give props to both teams. What a game of hockey, man. Just... I am just so glad we were able to bring this one. Arguably the game of the tournament so far. You know, Vaughn, hats off to these young men. They look so dejected, and that makes sense because it just there's so much emotion involved in this game and sport in general, and that's why we love it. So before we get to the PA announcer's choices, players of the game for me, obviously for Markham, number 71, Tate Collins. He is an all-star. For the Vaughn Kings, goal and assist, number 17, the captain, Paolo Ferry.